Hey guys, welcome to Project Bidoof. In this video, part one that is, we are going to breed a perfect mammoth swine for online battles. The moveset I have chosen here is Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, Ice Crash, and Ice Shard, and we are also going to be using the hidden ability Thick Fat. I chose to make this a leading Stealth Rock user, which means that you could pick Oblivious as your ability instead. However, I still really like Thick Fat, as it can dampen some of the damage that fire type moves give Mama Swine, as it does have a fire type weakness. The item that I chose is Focus Sash, simply because sometimes you will just get knocked straight down to 1 HP with a Focus Sash on, and your goal with this Pokemon, with this moveset at least, is to get Stealth Rocks up. With that said, I chose to pick a Jolly Nature. We're running 252 in attack, and we're running 252 in speed. Pretty simple, nothing out of the blue there. How I came to choose this moveset, of course, I go between Cerebi, probably the site with just the best layout when it comes to what I want personally, and then I also go through some movesets on Smogon, just to kind of go... Huh, so so maybe I could take this, maybe I could take this. What kind of checks and counters are there? What am I looking to switch in on? What are good matchups? What are bad matchups? So I'm looking over and researching these things, and I've done that for all 24 Pokemon in this series. So as I said for other videos that I made recently, you should research a lot of things before you make serious decisions, especially if you want to be a little bit more competitive or just have more success in battles. So the reason that I will use Cerebi is that it contains pretty much all of the information that I want. You can see that there is even just this sidebar here, which you can use for quick navigation. Normally, I will open up a tab immediately just by pressing the middle mouse button in my case, and I will just check out the egg moves. So let's say, for example, we want to know how to get Icicle Crash. I 100% know that I want Icicle Crash on this build, so I will look for parents that learn through breeding all through leveling up. The important thing to know here is, in BDSP, you can get egg moves through the Grand Underground. So if there are no Pokemon that learn the move that you want through level up that are in the same egg group, then you can catch one of these Pokemon within the Grand Underground. I don't know why I keep hovering over the SWSH ones, but yeah, in BDSP, you can catch a Sneasel, a Swinner, Palaswine, a Weavile, or a Mamoswine, even though technically these three you can't find. But you're basically looking for one of these that has the egg move that you want, and then you can breed it to both of them because they're in the same egg group. I don't really want to talk about sketch because we have the Grand Underground. It's a bit too advanced and it's a bit too unnecessary. So with that in mind, we can jump back to Cerebi and we can just look for a little bit more info. Maybe you don't know what the abilities are, so you can take your choices. Maybe you want to look at the male and female ratios, which honestly, this does affect breeding. Some Pokemon have a 75% chance to be male. So if you're swapping out your females all the time to get higher IVs, this can take Take longer than let's say 75% female. So it's important just to kind of brush up on a few things before you even start to hatch your eggs. So how do we evolve our pillar swine or our swin up into a pillar swine into a mammoth swine? We can hover over this section here and it will say it will level up while knowing ancient power. Here it has it as a move reminder. So what we actually need to do is go to pillar swine which is the pre-evolution to mammoth swine and let's do the same thing and we can see pillar swine there is a dash here where it says the level requirement these dashes will always be at the very top of this table for the level up moves. This dash means that you need to teach this move via the move reminder. So once we have our pillar swine, we can go to the move reminder, use up a heart scale, or if we have used 10 heart scales with the move reminder, we can use the move reminder as many times as we want. I definitely recommend doing this, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of breeding. Saying that though, th these games aren't going to be around for much longer with Scarlet and Violet coming out, so it's your call really. But yeah, to evolve into a Mammoth Swine, we simply use the move reminder and then we have our Mammoth Swine. Okay, so we have all of that figured out. We have our egg move figured out. So with that said, let's try and look at some other options. Okay, we can take Ice Shard. We learn Ice Shard at level 15 in Pillar Swine's sake. Let's just go back to Swin up for a second, just because we evolve at level 33. So yeah, it's the same level. Level 15 for Ice Shard, and it learns Earthquake naturally. We're going to have Icicle Crash as an egg move, so we have one move left over. So now what I can do here is, depending on game, I can look at what TMs it learns. I know for a fact that I'm already going to pick Stealth Rocks ahead of times, but I would look through here and go, hmm, maybe maybe avalanche but having three ice type moves is kind of a meme it doesn't really have a good type coverage move here like there's nothing such as brick break brick break would be cool protect it learns light screen you know just 
it learns both screen moves actually so that would be something to consider it learns sandstorm depending on what your team's looking like that could be useful but obviously in my eyes and in my head at the time i went with stealth rock just because i want this to be a stealth rock lead so there we have it we have our move set we have everything else we want to do so now let's jump into the game and actually breed it so let's go over breeding now as we want to breed a 5 IV Swinob. This is pretty good and I don't think I kept the original mother. Which I know that's kind of messed up to say but I typically I'm pretty boxed starved so I get rid of anything that isn't at least a 4 IV. I caught this Sneasel which has Icicle Crash and it's male so thumbs up there I don't have to do anything difficult. So what I will do is I will get a Jolly Swinob like this one. Make sure that it's female, and then I will breed it with the Sneasel just to pass down the egg move, and then I will swap out the Sneasel with our holy 6 IV Bidoof, which is holding a Destiny Knot. Of course, either of these, because they're both jolly, we can give one of them an Everstone and one of them a Destiny Knot. If you really need one of these Pokemon to hold Everstone, then give that Pokemon the Everstone and give the other one the Destiny Knot. Eventually, and I didn't keep account of how many eggs it took, you will end up with a Swinub which looks like this. It's level 1, it's male, it's jolly, it has a thick fat, which is the hidden ability. Remember that your Swinub, which is female, in the daycare, needs to have its hidden ability if you want to pass it down. Don't let me skip over that because you guys are gonna comment something like, I followed you and I, I messed up and, and the world is gonna end. Basically, you need the hidden ability to continue breeding down the hidden ability and don't worry uh i have quite a few of these left so if you did want to breed a mammoth swine and you don't have an ability patch then just ask me for one and i'll trade you no worries so anyway back to the swinob we have icicle crash we have jolly we have our hidden ability and we have five ivs which means that we can go on to the ev training process okay so quickly before we ev train I want to spread Pokerus to the Pokemon that I'm EV training just to make it twice as fast. So basically, you want at least one Pokemon that has Pokerus which looks like this. This means that the poker restraint is still active. What that will do is, when you are in a wild encounter, you can run away. You don't have to finish the encounter by making the Pokemon faint. There's a 50% chance that the Pokerus will spread to the adjacent Pokemon. So the best way to do this is to get two of these, place one of them in slot two, so that it spreads to the one above in slot one, and the one below in slot three. And you do the same but with the other Pokemon that has Pokerus in slot 5, so then it will spread above to slot 4, and then below in slot 6. Sometimes this means that you have a level 1 at the beginning of your party, which can't be helped in some cases, and this is why I always come to the very first route in the game, and then I will just find a wild encounter, and just spin my stick around really quick. Please don't isolate that out, out of context. So we found a Starly, and then all we need to do is run away. Sometimes Starly is faster, but that's just natural because it's level 3. Please don't kill me. Okay, run away. Easy. And now we just check our party and hopefully without movie magic, we've spread the Pokerus. Yeah, see, so I knew straight away in the top right, there's that pink symbol next to ice and ground. This should spread to every Pokemon. Yep. So now every Pokemon has Pokerus. So now it's time to EV train and we want max attack and speed EVs. So what I will do is I will make sure that I have the correct item equipped. So this is the attack EVs item. We're going to go and train some attack EVs. I've just came to... Veilstone City and we're just gonna have a short bike ride. All you do is go down and we're going to use the Versus Seeker to train against the Mr. Man who has the Goldines or maybe they're Seekings now. Don't worry I can't drive. So what I like to do is bring up the step counter, reset that and then I'll just activate it to see if it works and we did get two exclamation points so that's pretty cool. What we will now do is, aha I almost caught myself, we will save the game first. Always save the game before you start EV training. Before the first EV is trained, save your game. I've ruined Pokemon because I haven't saved the game, so please just listen to me. And now this guy will perish. Okay, so after the first battle, we need to just do a little spin in, a little spin in. This can hurt your wrists, by the way. I've been hatching eggs for like what feels like a week, <laughs> a week straight of hatching eggs. So maybe don't spin, maybe just go up and down like Anyone who cares about their wrists would do. But yeah, we now have over 100 steps. Activate the thing. Other trainers don't appear to be ready. Okay, well, more wrist pain for me, I suppose. We started off at 128. So let's see. 230. Yeah, that'll do. Nothing! This can happen. And I've received comments about this where they say, Hey, 
My, my versus seeker doesn't work. What gives? Guy on the internet? Listen, sometimes it doesn't work, okay? And it still doesn't work. You normally don't have to do it more than three times, ever. But, you know, this is on record, so it has to go badly. There we go, okay. I'm finally back. That took years! No, it only really took about five minutes. Maybe closer to ten minutes. Let's just do a quick check. That was the wrong button. Check the summary, go over to the stats screen and press the... What is this button called? It's called the X button. It's the top face button. It's different on like every controller, but press that button. And there it is. Look at the shiny little, little sparkles where it says attack. That means we have a maxed out attack stat. So only one of those to go, which is going to be speed. Give that to that guy. And now we can go and train speed EVs. Who off the top of their head knows where we can train speed EVs? Who's watched my video? You've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's Eterna City. We're going to fight the Magikarp, dude. But first, I'm just going to pop into the center and get the move PP back for my Garchomp that I use for all of my EV training. We can just take a light jog. Saying that, though, it is faster to reset on the bike. Let's just do a quick... Versus Seeker, the battery isn't charged enough. Okay, cool. So 53 steps. 53 steps. What's 53 plus 83? It's 36, right? Oh, we went past it. That was quick. And there we go. This is the man. This man here. This man here. None of these guys. Ignore all of these guys. I haven't even fought these guys yet. <laughs> like, actually in the game. So once again, save. Save the game. I'm back and look what we have here maximum speed evs plus speed nature we are very fast very fast indeed okay we have four evs left to do and i'm gonna just do that very quickly in defense i think i'm actually gonna double check double check double check, double check. special defense and special defense um okay okay sure who knows how to train special defense <laughs> come on answers right now Write them down. Don't look at anyone else's answers, okay? Just I know you can do this. Just think. Special defense. Special defense. But the right power item. These two say sp. 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 Def. <laughs> we need to go to the Valley Windworks, which is east of the Floroma town. Let's hop on our bike. And go, 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 go. Okay. Save your game again. We're going for a quick little swim. We want to find a tentacool or a tentacruel. And we have to make sure we're in the Valley Windworks for this. I'm not like 99% sure. I think you have to do that. But yeah, here is our tentacool. First try. Don't even worry about it. It's like a 35% encounter rate. So it's, it's probable. It's, it's going to happen, right? So let's murder. No, let's... <laughs> Let's make this tentacle faint, and then we will finish our Eevee training stage. See ya. Okay, now we can go and just level up to 50. I'm going to do this in the Elite Four, so I will be right back with some Pokemon that can beat Elite Four. If you have any sort of legendary Pokemon, or just generally high level and powerful Pokemon, you can use these. I'm using a Moxie Salamence, and he basically does most of the legwork. I will use Dragon Claw. Fire Blast and Earthquake until there's two or three Pokemon left and then I will click Outrage just to kill the other three. I do also make use of some revives because again I don't like switching to the Pokemon that I'm leveling up after my Salamence dies and then them dying and then you know it, like it sours the whole process. Look what we have here. Our Palace Wine is evolving. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? Who knows what it's gonna be? Well, we all know. There's no surprise. It's a mammoth swine. Woo! Woo! So because my Swinub already knew ancient power, it evolved into a pillar swine. And then when the pillar swine leveled up again, it evolved into a mammoth swine. You can skip the stage of move reminding if you actually pass the move down via egg move. And we are back with the level 51 mammoth swine. I reached level 51 because this means that we can learn Earthquake for free, no TM. And I also taught Stealth Rocks by TM. So now we have our moveset finished. We have our EVs finished. We're a hidden ability. We're jolly nature. And yeah, that's everything. That's our competitive, perfect 
IV Mama Swine. The next video will be about this Sneasel. I actually need to remember to evolve this at night time today so that I, I can edit the rest of the video tomorrow and then release it for you guys. But yeah, remember that you can win any of the Pokemon that I do these videos on over on Twitter. So make sure that you check out that giveaway. I have been receiving very few entrants for this. So right now, especially, it's pretty high chance that you can win. And again, it only takes you a couple of seconds. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. This is just part one. There are going to be 24 of these videos. So I will naturally think of a way to make this format as watchable as possible. This one might be a bit of a mess, but this is something that I'm going to work on and I would love to hear your feedback. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow where we will go over this Sneasel becoming a Weavile. So thanks for watching once again, and I shall see you next time. See ya.